Good evening, everybody. Today, I will be reviewing the How to Train Your Dragon Hidden World figurine known as the Light Fury. Now, you're all probably wondering, how the heck did you manage to find one that actually is more detailed than a lot of figurines that are sold on Amazon or in shops? Well, it's funny you ask because um, I managed to get this from the advent calendar from Amazon. Now, you can't exactly get this on the American Amazon because um, this is strictly sold in Europe and I deeply apologize for that. Um, however, um, there is one light figurine, light fury figurine. <laughs> I'm stuttering. I'm, I'm, I'm so nervous. <laughs> Forgive me, but <clears throat> as I was saying, there are, there's like a light fury figurine being sold on eBay that actually belongs to Silver Willow Wing. She is my favorite How to Train Your Dragon YouTuber. She's like a big fan of the series, and though I really can't blame her. Anyway, let's get on with the review. Now, as you can tell, the Light Fury is very well detailed, very well structured, and it was 3D printed, I think. And if you look underneath, uh, you could see uh, you could see the uh, hole that you have to put your pencil into. That well, that's that's mainly what it's made for. <laughs> it's just to put in her pencil, just to stab her in the stomach with a pencil, as if we're Gremel the Grizzly or something. <laughs> well, I have to say that... Oh, come on, focus, 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 focus. Oh, this is horrible. <laughs> well, her head is very neatly designed, and I... Love how her her little wings are neatly tucked away, and her tail fin. Yeah, yeah, that's very accurate. When I saw the film, I noticed her little... Let me hold it better. Um, Her little extra flaps under her tail, and I was asking myself, what's the point of them? But as I looked at this figurine, and... I saw that it it was just her her spine splitting into ec extra flaps on her tail, which um, if she, if she, if that's how Furies are designed since they adapted to the hidden world, then I won't question it. So let's look under the belly again. You can tell that there's a lot of blue coming from her neck down to her tail, and really under her wings as well. My main gripe with this design, however, is that this little hip flap is visible, and yet on her left, it, it it was like as if her hip flap got sawn off. Like, it's very, 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 very thin. Like, it, you could still see it if you look underneath her. Ugh, stupid camera. Like, it, it's still visible, but it, it's like it's not even existing at all. So... That's a fail on their part, but I'm not the one to say that because I'm not the one who designed it. So, sorry about that. Sorry for my stuttering, though. I've never been on camera in, in like, years. I've, I've, um, I've had a really bad time of being on camera, and, and people were bullying me for it, and I got scared of being on camera since... I, I know that's very cowardly of me, but... Being autistic doesn't help at all, but this is this figurine is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, look at her neck. Look at her gorgeous neck. Like the way that it's like nice and long. Like Tithis's is kind of long, but like not long enough to have a small head. And uh, you could see the ears. Unfortunately, these ears don't have the little nubs um, behind them like a like the Light Fury does in the film. In the hidden world, just like Tithis, but I won't. Um, I won't say much. It's ju it's just like a it's just an advent calendar toy, so I shouldn't be expecting high things. And yeah, the way that the wings are very well 
connected to her back, like from her shoulders all the way down to her, where it meets the end of her spine. That's very accurate. I have to admit, there's a lot of spines in her tail flaps compared to Toothless's, and I used to think that they almost looked the same, but Toothless's um, secondary last spines, say like where my nail's pointing there, is spreads out more than the one on top. If I, just, I hope you understand what I'm saying because I can't, I'm not good at describing things. But all in all, this Light Fury figurine that's meant to sit on the end of your pencil is very, very well designed. I love her little toes, her little black or dark gray toes or whatever. It just, it just shows how small her paws are. They are so ridiculously small. <laughs> and they're supposed to support her body. <laughs> How does that work? Like, her body mass is like 10 times larger than her toes. <laughs> oh my god, that's so adorable. <laughs> this is my absolute favorite figurine that I've had over the years. What am I saying? Why did I say that? Like, I've only had it for a few weeks. <laughs> I meant like as in compared to the other figurines that I've collected. In fact, um, I might do a comparison video later on before Christmas or after Christmas, depending on my mood. Unfortunately, there's like a little scar on her neck, but that's probably from being in the box um, for so many days. Or maybe there's been like an incident and they just put it in the box like, oh, they won't notice. <laughs> but yeah, that's the Light Fury from The Hidden World. I, I, I have like a love-hate relationship for the Light Fury um, because her being with Toothless, um, like, I don't mind it, but, um, but she, her hating humans is a little bit, it's, it's, while it's justifiable because grimmel has been cruel to her and that's all, the only thing she knows about humans, but she doesn't manage to gripe or manage to grasp the fact that there, there are good humans and there are bad humans like how Toothless has managed to grasp, but then again, he's been tamed by humans all his all his grown-up years while she's been in the wild for since birth. But enough of this rambling. This is the Life Fury figurine, and I don't know how to end this video, so... Merry Christmas, and peace out. <laughs>